Central Stand Up presents Joe Quazala. Give it up for Joe Quazala. Hello, hi. Hi, everybody. Wow, okay. Thank you so much. This is crazy. This is, it's so nice to be here, I can't tell you. It's so nice. I've been traveling so much, uh, so it's really nice. I've been traveling all over. I mean, I was just back at home visiting my parents, which was okay. Uh, I, love my, I love my parents, but they did have me go to church with them. And I don't know if you guys have ever been to a Catholic mass before. If you haven't, I would summarize the experience as mostly a priest trying to sing. <laughs> Giving it a go, trying his hand at it. <laughs> and every Catholic priest sings like this. <laughs> they all just kind of find one note Ride it out. <laughs> Not a lot of wavering with the Catholic priest. Every Catholic priest sings like they're leading up to something. <laughs> like maybe they're gonna get to something and then it's gonna <laughs> And you're like, why is no one stopping this? <laughs> kind of feels like someone could stand up and be like, hey, that's not singing. <laughs> Cut it out. Then you realize everybody in the church comes here every single Sunday. Maybe they know something you don't. Maybe they know this is going to get good. So you're like, all right, I guess I'll just strap in with the rest of the church. Go up this roller coaster hill, click by click. Eventually we get to the top of the mountain. Maybe there'll be some sort of payoff. So you wait and you wait, and eventually you get to the top, and you're like, okay, priest, show me what you got. And then he pulls it out of his back pocket, and this whole time he kind of just wanted to show you that he knows how to do this. <laughs> how dare you? <laughs> it's not okay. And they all do it. Every Catholic priest sings like that. Doesn't make any sense. The only time it made sense to me, honestly, was when I was like a little kid. Because I only ever went to the one church. I only ever saw the one priest. If you just see one dude doing that, you can make sense of it. Because you're like, oh, he has a brain problem. <laughs> it's just a messed up man. I can make sense of that. But no, they all do it. Every si It doesn't... It's like, they sing as though they'd been explained the concept of singing, but had never heard a song. <laughs> like a long time ago, they got all the priests together, and they were like, okay, guys, we're going to teach you about singing. It's a lot like talking, which you love, uh, but with each word, you're going to sustain a musical note. You know what? Why am I even explaining it to you, priests? Uh, I'll just, why don't I just play you a song? No, I think I got it. Based on your definition, I think I'm nailing it. <laughs> it's disgusting. It's real. The whole thing, the whole Catholic Mass is disgusting. I think the grossest part is the way they handle the wine. And I think they know how gross it is. And I think they're trying to hide it with the singing. Because the singing and the wine are always together. It's always like, everybody drink from the goblet. Everybody put your lips and tongue on the exact same spot on the goblet. Super hygienic. Don't worry about it. Super hygienic, because I'm going to wipe it down with the exact same cloth every time. Got a real long cloth. Only going to use the one corner. Just going to go to town with that one corner. Totally not gross to be sharing this goblet with everybody else in the church. Even though if you take stock of who else is in the church, everybody here is ugly in a way where they look like a bad drawing. <laughs> yeah, I'll go after churchgoers. What's up? You think I won't? I got targets tonight, guys. Do you know what you're dealing with? Do you know what you guys are dealing with here tonight? 
Maybe some of you can tell based on what's going on here with my leg, but for the rest of you, you're dealing with a bad boy. <laughs> yeah, most of you know, when you expect a bad boy, you expect something like this. <laughs> bad boy stuff, just doing bad boy stuff. I, lo I love the term bad boy. I think it's so funny. Uh, I will sometimes call myself a bad boy when I'm like flirting with a girl. I think it's kind of cute, kind of funny. Except once I was trying to flirt with a girl and, and say that and I kind of tripped over my words. And instead of saying I was a bad boy, I said I was a bad guy. <laughs> Which is not quite the same, you know? Cause like bad boy is like, yo, what's up girl? I got a motorcycle. And bad guy is, yo, what's up girl? I watched a man drown. <laughs> You know, you know bad guy stuff, what's up? <laughs> it's, it's so weird, bad boy, bad guy. On paper, should mean the same thing, right? But it's all context that can change the meaning of words. I think that's interesting, you know? I think it's interesting that like in the bedroom context, it is a generally known and accepted thing to call a guy daddy. You know, like you might think it's funny, but like we've all heard of that. We all know that's accepted. You know what's not accepted though, in the bedroom context, is to call a guy any synonym for daddy. <laughs> oh yeah. Oh yeah, give it to me, dad. Mmm, <laughs> mm, dad. <laughs> ooh, 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 right there, papa. <laughs> Mm, mm, mm. Papa, okay, okay, Papa. I'm sorry. <laughs> Is yeah, I mean, I even I said daddy's accepted, but like still probably a good rule of thumb, just don't use the word daddy at all, right? <laughs> Ever. Uh, there's some scenarios that are fine, you know, like little kids can say daddy. Uh, there's some songs where the lyrics have daddy in them, and I think it's worked. Certain songs, you know. Can your mama make me breakfast? Can your daddy make me cry? <laughs> well, yeah, I mean, that's not a real song. <laughs> so, just a song I made up. <laughs> It also doesn't mean anything, so don't try to, like, unpack it. Like, just, hold on, what's going on? She's making breakfast, he's crying, why is the daddy crying? I don't know. No, just pure nonsense. Can your mama make me breakfast? Can your daddy make me cry? <laughs> Sang it twice. Sang it two times for you guys. Because it can't just be stuck in my head. So that is my gift to you all. We call it the curse. Enjoy trying to live your lives. I am, that, I'm embarrassed though, because if you ask me in 2019 what my preferred genre of music is, I'll be like, rock and roll, which is lame. And I know it's lame, because every time I say I like rock and roll, I wind up sounding like an exchange student. Like, oh wow, yeah, like for me, for sure. Um, you want to know like what it is like for my interest, for example? Okay, wow. Um, like how do you pick, you know, because like so very many cool things, but like if I have to pick one, definitely gonna have to go with rock and roll. <laughs> you kidding me, dude? You freaking get, freaking rock and roll very boss right now, dude, very boss. <laughs> like how do you, but like, of course, very hard to pick like a favorite thing, you know, because like, I love so many, you know, cause like, sure, I love rock and roll, but like, I'm also very into t-shirt. <laughs> oh, you kidding me? Get out of the town, man. Like to wear t-shirt, talk about sleeve, shut up. <laughs> and like, okay, I have to pick third thing, like round it out top three, as they say, of things of great favor. Um, wow, uh, hard to make choice, but like definitely gonna have to go 
with American Hot Dog Store. <laughs> you know, dude, freaking go to store, pound dog, wear a rock and roll t-shirt, very touchdown. Very touchdown, dude. But what is like crazy though, what is like really crazy is like even I don't know what accent I'm doing. <laughs> Yeah, I don't fully know what that voice is. Uh, all I know for sure is that I'm doing an impression of a woman I used to work with. <laughs> that is for real. Uh, I used to work with a woman who talked like that. Her name was Hannah. Uh, and Hannah, like a lot of people with accents, you could tell exactly when she moved to this country, exactly when she learned the language by some of the phrases she was still using. Like she used to come up to me in the office, she used to be like, Oh, wow, Joe, you think you're so cool? You think you're like all that bag of chips? <laughs> and I'd be like, a bag of chips, Hannah, okay. Uh, did you move here in 1998? <laughs> I would say that to her, and she'd be like, okay, how do you know? How do you know my cigarette? I don't tell anyone my cigarette. That is, okay, okay, honey, I know how you know. I know how, it's because you're smart, you're intelligent, you're like lady from Weakest Link. <laughs> Freaking smartest person anyone knows, duh. <laughs> Hannah used to get away with so much shit. I think it's because she had a cute accent. I think if you have a cute accent, you can do whatever you want. You know, like Hannah could show up late to work and be like, oh, okay, um, I'm so sorry that I was not here on time. Um, I would have been here, but as I was coming here, I drove over a man's penis. <laughs> <laughs> Whoops. <laughs> and everyone would be like, whoa, 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 Hannah, very cool. <laughs> very cool, Hannah, Hannah. Yeah, it's, you could get away with whatever you want if you have a cute accent, but I think the opposite is true if you have a thick, regional, American accent. <laughs> then you can't get away with anything because everyone thinks you're dumb as shit. <laughs> and it's super unfair, you know? Like, I grew up in Pittsburgh, Pennsylvania, which has a very trashy accent. And it's so unfair because there are people in Pittsburgh with that accent who are very, very smart. But, are they? <laughs> I don't know, it's kinda, <laughs> kinda hard to buy sometimes, you know? Uh, yeah, it's very hard to buy sometimes. Even, even the people in Pittsburgh who are in positions where you know just to get there, they have to be smart. Like, imagine being in a courtroom in Pittsburgh and the judge walks in, looking very distinguished, wearing the robe, and then he sits down and opens his mouth and says, okay, so nobody freak out or nothing, but uh, <laughs> jurors deliberated and concluded the defendant's guilty beyond reasonable doubt. <laughs> You'd be like, uh, are you sure? Can we put you in jail? Is that an option to put the judge in jail? The only reason I say is because the way you talk makes it sound like you've maybe stabbed someone over a sausage argument. <laughs> this guy's trying to freaking tell me kill bosses, not top five sausage. What am I supposed to do? Not shank him? <laughs> freaking get out of here. That's how people talk in Pittsburgh. And sausage is like a top priority for most of the people I grew up with in Pittsburgh. It's messed up. <laughs> Thank you. I use the British accent a lot. I think it's my favorite voice to do. Really love the British accent. Uh, I love that you can tell just how British someone is by how many syllables they use. Like regular British, now. Really British, now. Super British, now. 
，烈火，烈火，我我，来，烈火龙，来，烈火烧烧烧烧烧烧烧烧烧烧烧烧烧烧烧烧烧烧烧烧烧烧烧烧烧烧烧烧烧烧烧烧烧烧烧烧烧烧烧烧烧烧烧烧烧烧烧烧烧烧烧烧烧烧烧烧烧烧烧烧烧烧烧烧烧烧烧烧烧烧烧烧烧烧烧烧烧烧烧烧烧烧烧烧烧烧烧烧烧我非把你丢完了，没有谁跟你讲。我非把你丢完了，没有谁跟你讲。我非把你丢完了，没有谁跟你讲。我非把你丢完了，没有谁跟你讲。我非把你丢完了，没有谁跟你讲。我非把你丢完了，没有谁跟你讲。我非把你丢完了，没有谁跟你讲。我非把你丢完了，没有谁跟你讲。我非把你丢完了，没有谁跟你讲。我非把你丢完了，没有谁跟你 Could it have been something I had done? We'll never know. No, we do know. We know why I got fired、uh, at that job. It was because I was bad at it. Yeah, that was it. I was very bad at this office job. The only thing I was good at, honestly, was farting quietly. That I was incredible at. It's a skill that you develop like any other.、Uh, but even as good as I was at farting quietly. I would occasionally let out an audible fart, you know. I'm human, and I found every time I would, I'd immediately start banging things around on my desk, like slapping the table, opening and closing drawers, because in my head, I thought I was going to replicate the sound of the fart with something else, and usually it would be like rubbing my vinyl chair. Usually that sounds a lot like a fart. So you'd be like, "Oh, this is great. Do this a whole bunch. Get a whole bunch of reps in." So, if anyone had initially heard me, they'll now think, "Oh, Joe didn't fart. He was just rubbing his chair." <laughs> of course. But what they were probably really thinking was, "Hey, Joe farted." He definitely farted, and then fell down on a bunch of shit, <laughs> and then farted like ten more times. <laughs> What a maniac! We should fire him, and they did. <laughs> they did fire me. I was without a job for a long time.、Uh, I, I didn't care, you know. I, I liked going on job interviews. I thought that was very funny, because they would always ask me the same question. They would always ask me, "Joe, do you think outside the box? Do you know that box, Joe? Do you think outside it?" And that was so funny to me because every job I was applying for was like an entry-level position. So all I would be doing at that job would be like answering the phones. And I don't think you want me answering the phones for your company outside the box. <laughs> I don't think that would be very good for you. If I was at the front desk and I was like, "Thank you for calling the offices of Jackson and Miller. Goodbye." <laughs> That's why you don't hire a bad boy. <laughs> What's up? I tried warning you. I tried to warn you. This has been very fun, guys. Uh, uh, I really like your town.、Uh, I live in Los Angeles, and I live in a very bad part of Los Angeles. I live in downtown L.A., which I've had to learn how to live there. It's so bad. But I figured out a little trick, and you guys can use this for any sketchy part of town you ever find yourself in. This will make it so that you're not so scared. All you have to do is just narrate everything you see. As though it's in the opening credits of Saturday Night Live, <laughs> then it's not so bad. It's downtown Los Angeles <laughs> with a Mexican teenager with fangs, <laughs> a seven-foot-tall woman doing push-ups on a dumpster. <laughs> 
no arms doing the moonwalk in an alley. <laughs> Featuring loose macaroni and cheese with blood in it. <laughs> Rob Schneider. <laughs> Thank you so much, guys. I'm Joe Kozawa.